Hello students, welcome to the class, online class of physics. In previous video, we discussed about the atoms and uh, if you learn to, if you was to learn the concept of atoms, then you can move through the group WhatsApp and watch one by one videos upload there and learn all the concept and the details in the atoms. Okay, so let us discuss another chapter that is nucleus. Okay, so as we discuss in atoms in Gregor's and Marsden's experiment, the total space of an atom is empty, and there is a very small core region exists inside the atom where there will be total positive charge will exist okay and that core region we name as nucleus okay and when we observe the nucleus we find there are a large number of data will exist inside the nucleus so let us discuss in more details about the nucleus okay so when we observe the nucleus then we find so number of things okay so let us discuss one by one okay so though we are moving throughout a crucial condition then not to worry because we are uploading the videos one by one and we think you all able to learn the concept of the physics okay so let us discuss about uh, some more in nucleus okay so the first important thing if we observe the nucleus mainly that is study of the constituents and the various properties okay so if you observe the constituent of the nucleus then you will find there will be the first thing that is nucleus okay what is nucleus so if you observe the nucleus we find inside the nucleus as per the Gregor Marsden's experiment, the nucleus consists of a core of positive charge and there is a neutral particle exist inside the nucleus. Okay? So, the neutral particle is named as neutron and that positive charge particle is called proton. Okay? So, the protons and the neutrons combinedly called nucleons okay so what we get the nucleus is made of neutrons and protons and each one that is neutron and proton is called nucleons okay the second thing is atomic number okay most of the student has a wrong concept about the atomic number so let us discuss what is the wrong concept Okay. Most of the students believe that the atomic number is total number of protons or we can say total number of electrons. As we discuss inside the atom, the number of proton and the number of electron is same. Okay. So most of students believe the atomic number means it is either number of proton or number of electrons okay that is totally wrong okay so let us know how one can define atomic number okay so we can say suppose let us take an example okay suppose we are taking c612 okay and when we write c612 in lowest part the number is 6 okay and simply we say this is atomic number. How can we define? Okay. So if we say for a neutral atom, for a neutral atom, the number of protons and number of electrons are same. But if I consider here C plus, okay, what does mean C plus? C plus means there will be surface of one electron. Okay. In C plus, if we measure the atomic number, then we find the number of electrons 
in C plus is five because it is already emit one electron. Okay, and the number of proton is six. Okay, so here the number of proton and number of electron is not same. So our definition that is number of proton or number of electron will constitute atomic number will be totally wrong. Okay, so how can we define? So atomic number can be defined as the total number of protons exist inside a nucleus. That is called atomic number. Okay, clear. The atomic number is the total number of protons exist inside the nucleus. Okay, because the electron is not same for all the atoms. Okay, it is only equal in case of neutral atoms. Okay, in case of neutral atom, <coughs> the number of proton and number of electron are same. But if we consider ionized atom, then we find the electron numbers will vary. Okay, so we can say simple definition that is the total number of protons inside a nucleus is called atomic number. And simply we denote atomic number by Z. So let us take another important thing that is atomic mass number. Okay, there is also a wrong concept in students mind about atomic mass and atomic mass number okay why atomic mass and atomic mass number both are different okay so let us discuss okay atomic mass we can say that is the average mass of a nucleus the atomic mass is the average mass of a nucleus but if you observe the atomic mass number okay so let us look carbon 6 12 okay in upper side the number is 12 okay this 12 number 12 is simply known as atomic mass number okay so how can we define atomic mass number so atomic mass number that is total number of nucleons we say nucleon is number of proton and number of neutron inside the nucleus so atomic mass number simply we say s capital a okay so total number of nucleons such that protons and neutrons is called atomic number okay and we denote the atomic number as a okay and atomic mass is the average mass of the nucleus okay clear so how can we represent a nucleus so generally a nucleus is represented by the symbol x z a okay as we know z is atomic number and a is atomic mass number okay so z is the total number of protons inside the nucleus or simply you can say atomic number and a is the atomic mass number that is total number of protons and neutrons okay so simply we represent the nucleus by x z a okay and a is the atomic mass number z is the atomic number what is x x is the chemical symbol x is the chemical symbol Okay, we can take a simple example of C six twelve. Okay, so in C six twelve, there will be atomic number six, atomic mass number that is twelve, and chemical symbol of carbon that is C. Okay. Another thing we discuss about the nucleus is on nucleon. Okay, as we discuss nucleon is the total number of protons and the neutrons inside the nucleus okay so you can say the main constituent part of the nucleus is nucleon okay and that nucleon consists of protons and neutrons okay so let us know more about protons and neutrons okay as we discuss in rigor mass dense experiment 
the proton becomes positive charge okay and the charge of proton is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb okay and the mass of proton if we measure the mass of proton that will be 1.6726 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg or if we measure in atomic mass unit we find the mass of the proton will be 1.007276 u or simply we can say al u that is atomic mass unit okay and the total number of proton inside the nucleus is simply denoted by z okay now let us take about neutron okay neutron is being neutral okay neutron does not contain any charge particle okay so you can say neutron has no charge and mass of the neutron is slightly greater than that of mass of proton and if we measure the mass of neutron the mass of neutron will be let us take a mn the mass of neutron will be 1.6749 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg compare two things mass of proton and mass of neutron mass of neutron is slightly greater mass of proton is 1.6726 but mass of neutron is 1.6749 okay so there is a slight variance okay so if we take uh, mass of neutron in atomic mass unit 1.00865 Okay, so that will be the mass of neutron. Okay, neutron is being neutral. Okay, because of neutral property, it can easily penetrate any of the atom. Okay, because in greater mass dense experiment we find an alpha particle being positive charge and being positive nature, it will be repel from a very small region and that we name as nucleus. Okay, but being neutral. when we incident a neutron on an atom then we find a neutron can easily penetrate that atom because it has a neutral charge or neutral property okay so being neutral we can say a neutron can easily penetrate to any atom so it has a high penetration power okay second thing because of low mass we can say it has low value of ionizing power okay neutron has low ionizing power okay and the number of neutron inside the nucleus is simply denoted by n okay so we can say how can we calculate n from a nucleus okay so we can say number of neutron is simply the difference of atomic mass number and atomic number okay so n is the difference of a minus z so one can calculate the number of neutron by substituting atomic mass number and atomic number of an nucleus okay so i think you all get about an idea about the nucleus okay again i take a summary inside the nucleus there are two main particles one is proton another one is neutron okay proton and neutron Combinedly called nucleus. Okay. Second thing, atomic mass number. Okay. Atomic mass number is the total number of protons and neutrons inside the nucleus. Okay. Atomic number. Atomic number simply we say for neutral atom, number of electron is equal to number of proton. But in case of ionized, the value is different. okay so we can say in the total number of protons present inside the nucleus is called atomic number and simply we represent a nucleus by x z a a is the atomic mass number z is the atomic number and x is the chemical symbol okay and when we observe the constituent constituent of nucleus is nucleon and nucleon is two different types one is proton another one is neutron proton is positive neutron is neutral mass of proton 
and mass of neutron if you observe mass of neutron is slightly greater than the proton and charge of proton is 1.6 into 10 to the minus 19 coulomb and the number of proton is denoted by z and number of neutron is denoted by l and one can calculate n by simply subtracting atomic mass number with atomic number okay thank you